Hello friends, welcome to RR Digital. Today we will discuss about uh, joining. Okay, so in a hive we have different uh, types of joins in a hive. Okay, so one is a inner join. Okay, second one left outer join, third one uh, right outer join, fourth one uh, full outer join, fifth one cross join. Okay, so inner join. So uh, basically if you want to apply any joins okay so here joins okay so if you want to apply joins so first uh, we need uh, uh, two tables okay so joins always we have to apply on uh, multiple tables okay so here first we'll create one table that is uh, employee table and the second table uh, will create a department uh, table so if you want to apply joins on two different tables compulsory one common column should be there in both the tables okay so here you can assume employee table you have department number is the common column and the department table also you can assume department number is the common column okay so on top of these two tables so uh, we have to apply uh, joins okay so first one is uh, first one is uh, inner join okay first one is uh, inner join okay so this inner join okay so basically in uh, both the tables this particular department number will match okay only those records will populate okay for example here uh, employee table okay i have employee number 100 and department number one and maybe a name okay and again uh, here department table i have a uh, department uh, number okay and uh, this uh, department name first uh, you can assume department name then department one and then uh, here uh, again uh, department uh, description okay so when you apply inner join okay this is department number column in employee table this is department number column in uh, department table so both the records uh, department number is matching okay so wherever uh, both the records uh, department number will match so only those records uh, it will populate okay so that is about uh, uh, inner join okay left outer join okay so left outer join means so here also you have two tables one is a uh, employee table that is you can assume left side table and uh, department uh, this department table you can assume uh, right side table okay so here left outer join means left side table all the records it will populate left side table all the records but the opposite side uh, table only match records okay so left outer join means left side table all the records but opposite side uh, only matched records okay so left side table all the records records but uh, right side table uh, only matched records okay. so this is about uh, left outer uh, join now right outer uh, or join okay so right outer join also similar to left outer join so right side table all the records right side table all the records but uh, opposite side uh, opposite side table uh, only matched records okay so opposite side or you can assume a left side table okay because right side table all the records means so left side table only matched records and uh, 
fourth one full outer join full outer join so basically full outer join means uh, from both the tables all the records even left side table all the records and the right side table also all the records okay this is called a full outer uh, join okay and next uh, here we have fifth join that is a cross join cross join so basically cross join means left side table each record it will uh, map with the uh, all the records from a uh, right side uh, table so left side table first row okay it will map with all the records from a uh, right side table again second record okay like that also here so for example here so here you can assume this is a left side table okay and this is a right side table okay so left side table you can assume i have only three uh, records okay maybe record number one record number two record number three only three records okay and uh, here right side table also i have only three records okay. and uh, here one more uh, record okay so cross join basically how it will apply means left side table first record it will map with uh, all the records from uh, right side table okay again same record it will map with other record so like this each row it will map with all the records from a right side a table that is called a cross join okay so similar way your second record also again second record also it will map okay so this is called a cross join even your last record also so last record also it will map with uh, all the records okay so this is called a cross join okay so now first we have to create uh, two tables okay so after creating tables then we'll uh, apply these joins okay so first we'll create a department table okay so if you want to create a department table you need a data file right okay so username cloud error password cloud error okay so first we'll check a department related data file cd data ls at dept dot txt okay so this data file i have few records so first column department number and uh, department name and then uh, salary okay so for this data we'll create uh, one hive table okay so hive table we have to create with uh, three columns okay so first we have to log in into hive mode okay so here we have to choose uh, schema or database name okay okay database does not exist okay show data basis okay default december october okay let me create a database create database then database name okay so database created use database name okay now i will create a department table okay so 
create table DEPT first column name DEPT number data type integer because only numbers second department name so string data type next one salary int data type okay so row format delimited here fields terminated by so each column separated by which symbol okay pipe symbol so that we have to specify within single quotes or double quotes okay so table successfully created so here we can cross verify show tables so department table it is showing okay so table created but there is no data inside the department the table so we have to load the data okay we have to load the data so here load data local in path okay so data file is there in a local file system under home cloud era under data directory dept dot txt okay so this data file i am loading into dept table okay so successfully loaded now select from dept okay so i have department table now department table contains a few records okay so to apply joins we need one more table also okay so we created only department table now we have to create a employee table also okay so for that also we need the data file so cat employee dot txt okay so here i have data so for this also i will uh, uh, create a table okay so create table table name employee so first column employee number second column employee name third column phone number so phone number begin okay then salary in last column department number in so department column also we have common column department number employee table also we have common column department number okay so format delimited fields terminated by okay type symbol okay so here also each row uh, each column separated by pipe symbol okay if it is separated by comma then we have to give comma okay so table created now we have to load a uh, data okay so how to load here we have to give employee dot txt into which table employee table right this data file i want to load into employee table okay so successfully loaded select star from employee okay so employee table i have department number department table also i have department number so one common column is there so now we can apply joins okay first we'll apply inner join first we'll apply inner join okay so select employee number e name from which table first table employee table okay so you are applying inner join inner join you are applying on which table second table department okay on from employee table based on which column department uh, number column okay and then from department table also department number so wherever department numbers will match from both the tables only those records it will populate okay so now back in map reduce jobs are running okay so job tracker executing map reduce jobs to retrieve the data from both the tables 
so inner join only match records right employee table 21 is the department okay but uh, department table here there is no 21 there is and that is employee table okay so except 21 remaining all it should show okay except 21 okay so here you if you see from both the tables wherever department numbers matched only those records are populated okay but a department table department table there is no 21 department number so 21 department number not there in both the tables that's why not populated so inner join always wherever department numbers will match only those records it will uh, populate okay so this is about uh, inner join now left outer join okay so here same query after table name left outer join okay so employee table left side table department table right side table so now if we execute this query employee table all the records it will populate but opposite side table only matching records okay so opposite side department right so department side matching means except except 22 and 21 remaining all it will populate okay because this 22 not there in employee table department number 22 okay okay i think only except 22 remaining all it will populate okay because 22 not there in the left side table okay so here if you see 22 not showing okay 21 it will show because uh, left side table all the records okay so left side table all the records but the right side table 22 is there but that 22 not matching with the left side table that's why not populated okay so this is about left outer join and then uh, right outer join so right outer join means so right outer join right side table all the records that means now department table all the records 22 also it will populate but uh, left side table only match records okay so right outer join so right side table all the records even department number 22 20 all the records populated okay but a uh, left side table okay left side table we have department number 21 but 21 not populated because 21 not there in uh, department table it is there in only employee table so right outer join means right side table all the records okay but the opposite side table only matched records okay next full outer join okay so full outer join full outer join means from both the tables all the records from both the tables all the records like now 22 21 um, department related also it will populate data okay see 21 department also populated 22 also populated because full outer join from both the tables all the records now cross join okay so cross join here uh, just we have to specify cross so for cross join we no need to apply a condition okay select star from left side table name then cross join then right side table name see 564 rows okay if you see this 147 record from left side table 
okay it is mapped with the uh, all the records from my uh, right side table see same 147 again here same 147 this 147 record it is mapped with department number 18 row and again 17 so like that each row it will map with uh, all the records from a uh, right side table okay so this is about uh, joins and the uh, next concept uh, basic high functions okay so basic uh, high functions we have different concepts mathematical date string conditional and aggregate functions but uh, in a uh, real-time projects so most of the people they are using only string functions and aggregate functions okay so string functions we have again uh, different functions okay so length so length means for example name is there how many characters are there okay uh, eight characters are nine that length it will give okay concat means uh, if you want to um, concat two different columns okay so first name and last name okay so both it will uh, concat uh, it will apply merging okay substring means uh, in um, for example name is there if you want only uh, second position to only fifth position related characters okay so specific position related means you have to use a substring okay upper means if you want to convert all the characters into uppercase letters capital letters then you can use upper lower means lower case letters all small letters it will display okay trim means uh, before name or after name any space is there then it will uh, remove l trim means uh, left side space it will remove okay for example one name is there so before name left side if any space is there then it will remove that space and uh, r trim means uh, right side uh, space after uh, word okay and uh, replace means instead of one character if you want to replace with a different character then you can use a replace okay so these are the string functions uh, generally will use in a real-time projects and uh, here uh, I given a queries also okay so we'll see like uh, how to apply these uh, string functions okay length uh, concatenation substring upper lower okay all this okay so first we'll try uh, length okay first we'll try length so here select e name comma length of e name from employee table okay so i want to employ name related length see this is employ name column so length how many characters five characters here how many characters three characters like that okay so this is about the length and the same way even you can use uppercase see uppercase this is the actual name but it is converted into uppercase letters okay same way even we can uh, apply uh, lawyer also lawyer see here b capital letter first but it is converted into a lower case uh, a letter okay and then uh, concatenation okay concatenation means for example here one more column is there phone number okay so concatenation uh, always we have to apply on uh, two columns okay so I apply number comma phone number okay so employee name phone number so both it is a uh, major right concatenation it is applied. okay so substring uh, substring here sub 
substring also built in function okay so substring of employee name comma which position to which position related characters you want starting position ending position okay so here you see so here one right okay so one means k and uh, end position three okay one two three so three letters okay so this is about uh, substring and uh, trim and uh, l trim okay so right now we don't have any space okay okay so to apply trim we don't have any space between uh, any words okay last one replace okay reg exp underscore uh, replace so for replace this is the built-in function okay so replace for example capital k is there okay wherever capital k is there you can put a capital b okay so capital k so here capital k is there it is replaced with the capital b okay but replace we have to use uh, this built-in function okay so you should not directly use a replace we have to use a reg exp underscore replace and then which column related data okay and which character you want to replace that character and a replace character okay so this is about uh, string functions okay and the next uh, aggregate functions okay so aggregate functions means like uh, some some means for example 10 employees are there all the 10 employees related salary you have to apply some okay and the average the average salary okay minimum lowest salary which employee is getting lowest salary max which employee is getting the highest salary okay so these aggregate functions also we'll see now so here select select sum of salary okay so back end again uh, map reduce jobs are running okay because it has to apply some right first it has to read uh, all the employees related salary total salary okay so this is the total salary and uh, you can apply min and max also max means uh, only highest uh, em highest salary it will populate okay so which employee is taking highest salary okay so 48094 rupees highest salary same way minimum salary lowest lowest maybe 5000 or something it will populate okay so lowest salary and the average means so all the employees salary first it will apply some okay so total salary by number of persons okay so for example if for one lakh okay one lakh by 10 employees means by 10 so that average salary okay so this is average okay thanks for watching this video bye friends